Okay, so what you want to do for this lab is to set up an FTP server and the server that we're going to use for this lab is Core FTP. So make your way over to www.coreftp.com. Now make sure to check what version of Windows you are using. I know for my computer I'm using 64-bit. And I can just double check that by going right there. So once you download the server, go ahead, launch it, install it, and after you've done that, meet me back right here where you go and launch the FTP server. So once everything is installed, you're going to be met with this screen right here. So I am going into setup. I'm going to click on you. And you're going to be met with the server configuration page, which is right here. So how do I get all this information? Well, the domain name in this case is the name of your computer. There are two ways you can do that. The very first way is to type in ipconfig slash all and your domain name will be right under Windows IP configuration. And the domain name is the equivalent of your host name. So you can go ahead and type in what? Well, my PC is named what? And then your domain name IP address. And you can pull it up by typing ipconfig slash all. Now, on your computers, you might see multiple adapters, but the adapter that I'm using is the Ethernet local area connection. And my IPv4 address is located right there. I'm going to go ahead and put that in 192.168.1.149. So any computer that wants to connect to my FTP server will be using this IP address. <clears throat> so now I want to establish what folder um, my users will log into or access when they log into my FTP. So I'm going to go ahead and click right here. Go down to a folder that I already made, which is called test. Or if you want to make a new folder, you can click New Folder and create a new folder. But I already made mine called Test. Okay. So these are different options you can use. And I'm not going to get into them right now, but for a different lab. Let's go down here to Login Message. So when your users log into the FTP, you can either configure a message to welcome them or when they log off to tell them goodbye for this lab i already created a little text file called fdp welcome and you can go ahead and create a text file it's completely up to you okay so for the majority of this portion I think we are done you don't have to worry about these connect uh, configurations right here okay domain changes mind okay and we are pretty much done here all we have to do is click on start and it says what to that PC is active so now the question that you need to be asking yourself is how do I connect to the FTP server? Well, there are two ways. One, you can connect using a browser. And two, you can use an FTP application. So when using the browser, all you have to do in the address bar is type in FTP semicolon forward slash forward slash and the IP of the computer. Now you'll see here you're required a username and password. However, I did not set that up. So let's go back over here to set up. Select our FTP server domain. And right here we have part where we can 
configure a user. So I'm going to create a user right now. Let's call him soup. Password one two three four five. Now I'm going to specify the home directory that I want this person to be able to access when they log in. So I'm going to set the test folder that we created earlier as the default folder to be used. Click OK. You don't have to worry too much about these settings. Permissions. Okay. So the permissions are very important. You need to give the user the ability to read, write, and make changes to that folder in order for them to successfully upload, download documents. Okay. So I just created that user. Let me stop. Start it back up. Let's try and log in. Now you'll see that there are files in here. Now the files that you're able to access here are the same as the ones and my test folder that I specified in the base directory. Now, whoever logs in will be able to access these files. They can simply click on it and it'll open. Or they can right click, say link as, and download the file. So that's how you set up the FTP server very quickly. Um, and that's how you access the FTP files using a web browser. However, second way I want you to access the FTP files are by using an FTP program. An example of that is Core FTP LE. Now, I'm not going to give you the steps to do this. I want you to figure that out on your own. Good luck.